Usually when people start making a side product on their own, it can be overwhelming because they don't know where to start, what to do first. And sometimes they do something that they shouldn't have done at the beginning and they didn't plan very well and they spend lots of time. So I think that the best order that I have found out in my opinion is first of all, Nico, yeah. where are we going? Huh? Where are we going? Up there. Where are we going? <laughs> you I start drawing the screens like I'm not a, I'm not an artist I just make squares and I say titles of the of the of the boxes and this is the profile and profile photo profile image uh, I don't know message box stuff like this it could be very simple but also if you want to and this I found out that is good for me I prefer to finish the HTML CSS as good as I can at the beginning before I touch any of the backend. So what I do is that I go to Pinterest, I go to Dribble, I go to Behance and I look for websites that I like and I kind of take elements from them. If I like the menu of a website, I kind of take that element. I, if I like the cards of the website, I take the cards. If I like how they show the text, how they show the images, the login form, stuff like this. I'm not a designer, so I don't sit and actually do it on Sketch or in Photoshop. I just prefer to go and just look a reference and copy it, copy some elements, copy some components. And after you're done with this, then you're going to have a pretty solid understanding of the views. I mean, the, 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 yeah, the pages of your website. And also you're going to have a very solid understanding of the data that you need and where do you need it. Based on this, you're going to be able to then go to the backend and make your models and then make your APIs. But as you can see, the order is very important because one gives you the idea of the other one. If you start with the, with the drawings, with the wireframes, it gives you the idea of the elements that you need to look for. If you are going to need a header, then which header are you going to look for? Are you going to copy it? You're going to make one of your own. Then after you have the, the, the drawings, as you can see, you have an idea of what you need to code. So then after you code it, this is going to give you the idea of the front end. It's going to give you the idea of what you need to have on the back end, which is, I think, the part where if you have front end uh, ready, it's going to be very simple for you. If you start from the back end first, I find it very difficult because I am on the dark. I don't know what I need on my models. I don't know which APIs I need. So it's like kind of imagine and imagine, imagine, imagine. And then when I go to the front end, I realize, oh, I also need this data or, oh, I need this way to search or, oh, I need this filter, kind of things like this. Can you feel about seeing them? No words, you know? No words. What do you mean, don't work? I have words to express the amount of sweat I have on my pants. <laughs> and I realized that the best thing I can do is always start from the front end. So let me know what you do. Let me know how you do it. Let me know what is your uh, best um, order in how to structure a project, a full stack project on your own. Let me know how you do it. I'm very, very curious to maybe learn something that's going to make me faster or better. If you like the video, please, uh, if you like the video, please leave a like, leave a comment, letting me know what you think and nothing. Enjoy life, eat kimchi, eat, eat kimchi, take a shower, be happy, watch normal colors. We love you. Thank you very much.